All eyes on the House of Representatives right now on Capitol Hill. Right now, the nation is waiting to see what's going to happen as the funding for the Department of Homeland Security will run out at the end of the day today if these lawmakers could not pass an extension on the funding or vote to fund it through the rest of the fiscal year. Right now, I can tell you that the House has called a bit of a recess. They've voted to have the discussion in a conference to try to come up with some kind of a compromise that will get past the House. And I want to bring in Congressman Eric. Walwell, a Democrat from California who is on the Homeland Security Committee. Thank you, Congressman, for joining us. We just spoke to one of your colleagues, the Republican Congressman Luke Messer, who said that they sent this bill to conference. Take us behind closed doors. What is going to come of these negotiations? Will it get passed? Well, Anna, the American people are hoping that these negotiations produce a Homeland Security Department that is funded uh, for longer than this evening and certainly longer than the next three weeks. You know, our enemies they have plans to attack Americans beyond the next three weeks. And so to protect Americans, what we can do is fund the Homeland Security Department for the rest of the year and take the uncertainty out of our own personal security. So will you vote to pass this three-week extension? Anna, I will not. Uh, again, our enemies, they have designs and plans to attack us beyond the next three weeks. And so if we are going to keep Americans safe, we cannot have the people who are charged with protecting us on the front lines know that they only have three more weeks of a guaranteed paycheck. We need their morale to be as high as it's ever been uh, because the threats are as diverse as they've ever been uh, right now. And so I believe that we should approach this in a bipartisan way. You know, Anna, I was an intern on Capitol Hill when September 11th happened. I remember what I wore that day. I remember members of Congress singing on the Capitol steps that day. And most importantly, I remember that every decision around Homeland Security since that day has been done in a bipartisan way, and we should not defy that now. I understand what you're saying, but isn't three weeks better than the funding running out tonight? Uh, Anna, I think three weeks uh, continues to play into this standoff that the Republicans want to have. And so uh, it's also no way to govern. The American people expect us to plan for their security beyond three weeks. Would Democrats share in the blame, however, if funding runs out tonight because there isn't a compromise? No, I, I believe that the American people, if they were asked, they would say, uh, they want to go to bed tonight knowing that the Department of Homeland Security is going to be funded for at least the rest of the year uh, and that we're not going to be in the same position uh, three weeks from now, from now with uh, our own personal security being taken hostage uh, by House Republicans. On the other hand, we do know that essential personnel will continue to keep working. Um, therefore, our national security, some may argue, isn't really at risk explain how this would affect our national security. Sure, Anna. And what's going to happen is uh, approximately 100,000 people who are charged with detecting whether an explosive gets on an airplane or whether somebody's crossing the border, they're going to be asked to continue to do that job as the threats continue to escalate. But what they're not going to receive uh, is a paycheck. And uh, with costs all around us continuing to rise, you can imagine how devastating that will be to their morale. And I want the person who's checking for a bomb on an airplane to not be worrying about whether they can provide for their families at home. I think most people would agree with you on that, but yet it still seems like there's a blame game between Democrats and Republicans pointing fingers at each other on this issue. Congressman, where are Democrats willing to compromise? Well, Democrats are willing to separate the issue of immigration and homeland security funding. I think immigration deserves a spirited debate on the House floor, but I do not believe the American people want to take the immigration debate and mix it up with our own personal security. And so if we separate those two, uh, I think uh, Democrats are happy to do that, but we are charged principally that it's the first sentence of the Constitution to provide for the common defense of the American people. Congressman Eric Swalwell, thanks for your time. We appreciate it.